Welcome back to module 12, exercise number one, where we're going to be creating a post login action. In this exercise, we're going to demonstrate listening for specific portal lifecycle events that occur in LifeRay, which in this case is going to be the login events post lifecycle event. When listening to an event, we are able to execute our code either before or after the event is finished. In our example, we'll listen to the login event, and after a user has successfully logged in, we'll send an email notification. First, we're going to create a LifeRay module project using the service template. Next, we'll go ahead and declare our dependencies. Third, we'll implement the event listener class. Fourth, we'll do a final code review. And then fifth, we'll go ahead and deploy that to LifeRay and test it out. Jumping over to our LifeRay developer studio, the first thing that we're going to do is create a new LifeRay module project. And we can do that by right-clicking onto the modules folder that we have in our workspace, selecting new, and selecting LifeRay module project. The project name in this case is going to be post login event listener. And we'll go ahead and use that default location. We'll keep the build type as Gradle and select the LifeRay version as 7.2. And then we'll change the project template name from MVC portlet to service. Once that's all finished, we can go ahead and select next. Next, we're going to give it a component class name, which is going to be post login event listener. And we'll give it a package name of com liferay training login events post. In the service name, we can actually use this button on the right, which says browse, and we'll search for star dot life cycle action. And we can double click on that to select it. And then we'll add a property key. So under the name, we're going to give it a name of key. And the value here is going to be login events post. That's going to be the end for the wizard, so we can go ahead and select finish. And once that's populated, we can go ahead and declare our dependencies in the build.gradle file. So we'll go ahead and open this up and open up the build.gradle file. And we're going to add one dependency here. It's going to be compile only group javax.mail and we'll give that a name of mail. Go ahead and save that. Next, we're going to implement the event listener class. So we can go ahead and open up that file that we just created, which is post login event listener Java. And we'll go ahead and add some service references to the end of the class. The service references that we'll be using are at reference protected mail service. Call that mail service. And we'll do another one at reference protected user service. Make sure to fill out the missing imports. Next, we'll go ahead and implement the process lifecycle event method. And we can do that by actually copying the snippet that we've been provided for, chap for chapter 12, exercise one. So we can go ahead and copy that process lifecycle event. And we'll put it right here. And let's make sure to import all of the missing imports that we have. Okay, that's all imported now. The next step is going to be deploy and testing what we've just created. So first things first, we're going into our exercise folder and we're going to start fake SMTP so that we have an email server to test against. 
here I am inside of exercises under chapter 12, and I'm just going to double click on this fake SMTP jar. We want to make sure that it's listening on port 25, and we can go ahead and just start the server. Uh, here I already have my server started. Our next step is going to be deploying the post login events listener. So after the fake SMTP server is started, we can go ahead and build our project. So let's go into layer, our LifeRay Developer Studio, into modules, go ahead and build this. And our project has been built. Let's go ahead and deploy that. So we'll go into post login event listener, wherever the code is, navigate into build libs, and we'll take this jar and we'll drop that into the deploy folder of our life rate bundle. Going over to our console to make sure that it deploys correctly. And it looks good. We've started the new com life rate training login events post project. Now what we'll do is navigate to localhost 8080 on our browser and we'll sign in with any user. In this case, I've created a test user. I've called it tester name and I'll go ahead and log in. And we'll go to our console and we'll notice that it says this process lifecycle event message. And if we go to our fake SMTP server, we'll notice that we now have an email just like we've customized. And that's it. Thanks for joining us on this exercise. We'll see you in the next one.